Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and this time we'll be working on the question 5. And for the first time viewer, my name is Mr. Dave and this will be focusing on the October and November 2023 paper tree. But this video will be focusing on task 3 question 5. If you want to look at the previous questions, be sure to check out all the previous video in my channel. All right, let's kick start. Now, in this particular question, question 5, they ask us to use a video and source tag to place in cell C. And the video file is n23feed.mp4. Now, um, when we work on Microsoft Expression Web 4, we need to bear in mind that this is a old technology. Uh, I believe uh, in Adobe Dreamweaver, you still have to put in some kind of a code as well and you can't really put in the media because if you even try to use insert media, you don't really have the option to put in video because these flash movies, Silverlight, Deep Zoom, media, Windows Media Player, these are all technology files that is uh, way back 14 years or even 20 years ago. Um, in the exams, if you have actually put in any of these methods, I have a feeling that it won't be considered uh, any mark at all. So for your information this time, uh, you really have to um, try to remember what are the, so the, the source tag for video. And then you should at least remember uh, how to write the HTML tag actually. But nevertheless, this is the video. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. And to do the video is actually very, very easy. So this is cell C. Uh, we're going to put in the video N23 feed, the N23 feed.mp4 video. So I'm just going to cover my cursor over to cell C and I'm going to use the um, full code instead because the video will not be shown right here because Microsoft Expression Web 4 is unable to view that technology if you don't know what's actually happening. So we're just going to go ahead and just use the code actually and we're not going to use the design for now. And on cell C, I'm just going to go ahead and just put this aesthetically. I, my way is like I like to put the TD open at the top and close at the bottom. So the very first thing to put in video is just very simple, just open attack video and then close this one and then the closing video will be there so what you want to do right now is just to make sure that the video tag and the closing video is also at the top and the bottom this is actually how I would do it in my style and then let's go back and check the the first paragraph the first, first sentence they ask us to put in the file n 23 feedmp 4 now that uh, is really easy so what you have to remember is video open, video closing, and then uh, when you see that name um, in your mind, just remember that you need to put in the source, and then for some reason we need to put source in two uh, t two ways. One is the full one, one is the second one. This is easy for you to remember, and then go ahead and type out the name of the file. All right, n23 feed done in before. Now. When it comes to uh, HTML, once we have the source, we need to also indicate the type as well. So just space, type, and then um, you can type in video slash mp4. All right. So this will indicate the source file. And then uh, we close this. Okay. Okay. Now, next thing that we're going to do is that let's check the question again. We're going to set the video width to 40, 480 pixels and the height to 360 pixels. And we're going to include the video controls. So let us do the width and the heights first. So the width and the height, we can... Okay, so to put in the width and the height, we can just literally... You, know, you don't really need to remember everything. Just that the width and the height and controls, just remember that it's always going to be at the first tag. So video with and then Microsoft Expression Web 4 will help you to do the punctuation and the syntax for you. Just go ahead and put in 400 and PX and then you go ahead and play space and then you put in the equal sign and then what was the pixel for height? So it was 360. So you just go on ahead and put 360, 360 
inside uh, this um, value. All right, once you place that, we have to put in and include another thing called video controls. Now, MP4 type kind of HTML, we just simply just type in controls and then that will enable the video player to have play, pause, and then full screen whatsoever controls that we need uh, via that. Okay, now next. Before we do anything, we need to display an appropriate text base error if the browser does not support this video type. Uh, this literally can be anything that is appropriate. It can be anything that you want to write. Just make sure that the error messages just make sense. So I'm just going to go ahead that this video does not support your browser. All right, so that is the method I will place. And uh, you don't have to do anything with the caption because it's just between the video and it will act as a caption as the video doesn't play. All right, so basically this is all that you need for this cell C. And then uh, you just need only four lines of markup. And let's let's check whether or not this video works. Okay, now in order to check the video, you cannot see that over in Microsoft is correction web four. It will be an empty space, but it would it does have a video tag. Is because by the when when Microsoft Expression Web four existed ten to in twenty ten, this technology was not available. So uh, what we can do is we're gonna preview that in the browser. Uh, what we can do is we just save this first. All right. And then we're going to go on to preview browser. I'm going to select Chrome because that's my favorite one. It depends on what whether you have your favorite browser installed as well. And select that. And voila, you can literally see that the video right there is, is there. And when I play that, it works. Okay. Now you can see the play button, full screen, volume, and everything that is there. It's because you have added in the um controls right here you have added the controls and then that allows someone to play and manipulate the video all right so that's basically it for question uh five and if we want to check the answer of in the march scheme let's take a look okay now so this video uh question question five have nine marks and i believe the nine marks will be each line so we have the video tag use. We definitely have that, so one mark. We also have the closing tag, that means two marks. We have the width, 480. I mean, you don't really have to write in PX, PX inside, but that's my method. You can literally just put in the number, that's okay. And then the height is um, 360. So, uh, other than that, if you put in controls, that's great. You have one mark, we did. And then we also have the source tag use as well. We have the open and closing. We also have the source SRC location to the file. And of course, we have indicate the correct type, which is the video slash MP4. And uh, Cambridge also said that uh, it, this will determine by the examiner to give you one mark. And of course, when you can write anything, just make sure you choose the ones that are appropriate for yourself. With that, that's it for question five. I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.